As far as I know, there's no single fire making device that will serve you in absolutely every situation. I carry all these ignition systems when I'm out in the woods and here's what they are. Ferrocerium rod with cotton balls and Vaseline. This Bic lighter is tricked out. It's got duct tape on it and a pop top right there so it can be carried. These matches would be put in a waterproof match container of course but they're uh, the stormproof matches and they're the best on the market as far as I can tell. And finally I'd carry this Zippo lighter. We're going to talk about it today and why it should be part of your fire making kit. The first Zippo was sold in 1933. The biggest change came during World War II when the Zippo dedicated its entire production to the U.S. military. Millions of service members relied on their Zippo because they were very effective. My dad came home from the war with a heavy smoking habit and a Zippo. He still carried a Zippo even when he quit smoking. The reliability service members depended upon is still there. The lighter uses flint and steel technology, lighter fluid, and a wick. It's pretty simple. Filling a reservoir is simple. Just How reliable is a Zippo? Well, I sat down and flicked one continuously to see how many lights I could get out of a full reservoir of fluid. The answer, 974. This probably gives you an idea of my social life, too. Then I filled the reservoir and just let it run. I'll spare you the whole sequence, but here's what it looked like after 36 minutes. At 37 minutes, we were about to run out of fuel and it didn't look like it was going to last much longer. At 38 minutes, I declared it officially out. Then I closed the lid, let it sit for about 5 minutes, and lit it again. This time it lasted another 3 minutes. Here are several reasons why I carry a Zippo. The lighter will work in the cold. Butane may not. Elevation will affect a butane lighter. It doesn't affect a Zippo. As a long-term fire starter, a Zippo can be replenished with gasoline. The durable design and the cover protects it from just about everything. If you want to protect the Zippo even more, take a piece of bicycle inner tube and put it over the hinge area. But actually the most important part is the one-handed operation. I'm right-handed, but I can use this left-handed. And that would become a big deal if I was disabled or if I had my right hand broken or injured. The lighter will continue to flame until it's put out. That means that in a pinch you could put it underneath a pile of tinder and just let it go until the whole thing started. But as mentioned, no one fire making device can do everything. Nor is there one that is completely reliable. So do you need a Zippo? I think you need an effective fire making kit. I think a Zippo can be part of it. This is Survival Common Sense. Have a great day. And please check out my book, Bushcraft Basics. It's available online and at your nearest independent bookstore.